I think the class is going to be about why some people, even in the space of the suffering, they add more suffering into it. But in, in, in common sense, people say the more you suffer, you come into the realization and understand. But it's not like that. If you have a strong mind and if you have a strong ego, you will try to find the truth in the explanation of facts and logic. And then you will take a side. And if you take that side, then you have opposition to struggle more. But this, then you see another person who is in the space of the suffering, it come into a place, my physicality, my emotions, these things, I need to elevate into a place that I grow from it and I will allow in the space of my world, without the attachment I'm using the word, have more peace, have more level of elevating that space. So, so it's nothing to do with government, it's nothing to do with anything in basically that someone else is making your life miserable. So without taking any sides of this practice, today I'm going to pinpoint into the areas of that level of beingness, where you are more sitting in the space of the heart and you're using the empathy and the compassion to grow and see things differently. See the same thing in different dimensions. A person who has have a two level of good and bad only sees two sides. Um, but the other person might be having another dimension to see three more sides of it so that it has a better understanding in a horizontal and a vertical level of things. And then you also come into a place that not to add your personal self into this area so it doesn't become person. Uh, but that doesn't mean you don't have compassion. It doesn't mean that you don't have empathy. You have all these things, yet you are not attached to the result of it or, or the division of it or a side of it. But saying that without taking anything personal, I will move the camera towards Darren Coming to a place of seating that you're very comfortable. And take a deep breath into the card of four. And very gently breathing out into the card of four. By very gently witnessing the space of the breath that coming into this faculty or the facility called body. Shoulders relax, and our chest is open, our spine is elongated, and you have suddenly have come into the realization of that you're witnessing. You grow into that space of experiencing, understanding that space that you're realizing it's becoming more stronger and it's grounding into the being. Not so much now doing, nor much into the separation of the in-breath and the out-breath. But the important of understanding through the experience, not just by the mind. We all read books, but when we experience, it's a different flavor. So in this moment, 
you're not asking anything to change. You're seeing what's happening. But because you're seeing from the space of the heart, you're seeing how much growth that you can have into this realization. Only if you're aware of yourself as the space of the heart of the beingness. Now take a deep breath in. Very gently raise the arms onto the crown. Spread those fingers and then get those fingers into the space of no struggling. Interlacing the fingers, palms facing up. Now stretch the elbows. And very gently allow the back of the shoulder to relax. Now spread the wings wider on the out by twisting the spine to the right side. Keep the left knee onto the floor. Allow that struggle of the hips to relax. Now releasing that body as you're strongly identified as my body and my past, my weakness. So very gently the perseverance of your body in a heaviest way, you're releasing and coming to the breath of lightness. Come back into the center. Change the formation of the legs. Deep breath into the count of four. Breathing out into the count of four. Now take a deep breath in, arms raise onto the crown, interlacing the fingers, palms facing up. Elongate the spine. Now on an out breath, twisting the spine to the left. Now very gently understand whether your ego is dominated because your mind is strong. Your personality is influenced by that. So when I say one thing, it relates to all the things. And very gently on the out breath, you're releasing the tension that you're carrying in the body out of that separation. Now breathing in back into the center. Now take a deep breath in, shrug the shoulders up, till the head back, massage the back of the skull. That's like you're giving an invitation of to scan the body without being personal about the body. Shrug the shoulders a little bit high, till the head back, open and close the mouth very widely. And release the tension of the verbal part that you have been stronger and establishing a difficulty, releasing the tension to your language. Remember, the language belongs into the mind. And you're coming into the space of the beingness. Breath out into the chest, releasing the tension. Back of the neck. Now, even on that breath out further, collapse the spine into a seated cat. See, now you can see the changes and the transitions and the transformation and the growth happening even in the body that you call my body. Breathing in tongue roll up onto the upper palate, energy gaze onto the third eye. Now, in this practice, you really see in that but seeing through the space of the being.
breathe out, releasing the tension. Anus lock, navel lock, throat lock into the space of a seated cow. Breathing in back into the center. Elongate the spine, shoulders relax, chest open. Now take a deep breath in. And see whether your neck need a stretch to the right or to the left. I'm allowing you to be guided by your spontaneous existence. And you're coming into the practice of if your personality was not in there in this body, how would this body respond to this moment? Not react to this moment. Personality react. Does personality know a little bit? and it doesn't want the change. So it suffers. Now take a deep breath in and gently relax. Shoulders relax, chest open. Now very gently bringing that left leg into the back. Shoulders relax and chest open. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, drop the elbows. Walk those palms into the front, releasing the tension. Palms facing up. Now clench and unclench those fingers to release the tension even further. The personality holding that this is my finger, so your emotions are in that space of the fingers, in the hand. So this is the tension that you're breathing in and breathing out. Emotions is also coming up and going. So thoughts are coming up and going. Emotion of fear, emotion of greed, emotion of security. That holding this body in hostage. Emotion of past, emotion of worries, emotions of, they all belong to the personality, to the ego. Now take a deep breath in, palms facing down, very gently walking back towards you and very gently changing into the space of a plank where things, the body is in a place of a strong natural faith. Now very gently left knee onto the floor, take a deep breath in right arm reaching into the front, up to the ceiling. Take a couple of more breaths in this space of openness. Right reaching into the back, touch the floor. Now very gently drop the knees, rotate the hips on a circular motion, bring in that space of digestion that do react to certain things and releasing the tension of that space onto the other side. And very gently bring in the environment of the digestion into a place of harmony. Now push the hips into the front, push the hips into the back. Now in this very moment, at this very moment, you could see every moment is unveiling the next moment. 
and every moment is taken care of. And now you could see in the space of the beingness, you allow things to come and you see the grace of it. But without not being, bringing the personality of the raincoat back. Establishing the heart of awareness. Palms facing down, crawling and bringing the chest into the front. Breathing in into a gentle cobra. Now that was force as the truth, force as the difficulty, the force as fear. Now you can see these influences that has a tremendous amount of hostility in the space of the mind and the space of the body. They gently with each breath, each realization, each moment dissolve. And the influence is less on your space. Just the space of the purity of the sacredness of the being. Beingness never suffer from anything because it does not belong to a physical phenomenon. So if you're suffering from that and you're trying to be logic and being right about it, beingness is never suffered. Even the fact is does not even come to the birth and the death. Overlook into the right. Overlook into the left. Now take a deep breath in and coming into the space of that realization. Relax and coming into a down place. Now take a deep breath in, lifting up onto the toes. Bend the knees. Push the bum up into the space of the ceiling. And opening up the legs without moving your back into the front. Now very gently take a deep breath in and left foot into the front, into the space of the pigeon. Now shoulders relax and chest open, take a deep breath in. Now even the space of this understanding, the difficulty is now, is happening in the favor of your growth that you have not seen before. And it is transitioning and it is transforming even in the movement of your whole posture, breath, Now, wherever you are struggling, it comes from the habit of the past. Now, take a deep breath in. Breath out, drop the elbows, walk those palms into the front. 
take your breathing properly. Clinch and unclinch. Palms facing up. Shoulders relaxed. Now, every breath, you could see that you're coming into the more of a space of unlimited, release, elevated, risen, or rising. Now, nothing is a trouble now. Nothing is a difficulty. Nothing is the government done to you. Nothing is the medication has done to you. Nothing is the neighbor has done to you. Nothing is the family has done to you. Nothing is the friend has done to you. Nothing is the boss has done to you. Nothing is the partner has done to you. Nothing is the weather has done to you. Now there is a wholeness. A fullness, fullness of grace, fullness of grace beyond everything. Now you are totally in the space of life, not in a dream, not in a destination. Now, whether it's a past or a future, it's all in the space of freshness, aliveness, beingness. Now, the urge to control anything is not there. If something is worked on, it has come spontaneously. Someone will see it as a control, but you don't see. Palms raising down, very gently coming. Take a deep breath in, into a place of plank, strong on the pelvic floor. Breathe on the plank. This is a very good place. Pull the belly in, keep the elongation happening. Right knee onto the floor. Left arm reaching up to the ceiling. Clench and unclench. Left reaching into the back. Touch the floor. Drop the knees. Coming into a gentle cat. Breathe out. In a slot navel. Take a deep breath in and coming into a bow. Freshness, beingness, there is no control. There's only spontaneity in this movement, in this breath. Mm -hmm. Breathe out to the cat. Breathing in into a neutral spine. Left arm reaching up to the ceiling. Clench and unclench. Left arm reaching under the armpit. Shoulder relaxed. Right arm reaching into the front. Release the tension. Now, the capacity of the consciousness to see and transform into the space of the light, space of the God, space of the nature. Now your vision constantly is in the space of transformation. Now take a deep breath in and just coming back. Completely breathing out, releasing the tension and coming into that freshness, coming in from that past, coming in from that future, into the beingness, coming from that control. Now to the other side. Right arm reaching up to the ceiling. Get, take a full rotation. Those are blocks on the shoulder blades, armpits, under the armpit. Allow the body also to transform into the space of the moment. Body suffers from a future and a past. So allow it to come into the highest light. Allow it to come into the space of the healing. 
feeling without a person having without a person taking a deep breath in and coming back into the center into the space of a cat and breathing in into a cow tongue roll up onto the upper palate energy gaze into the space that is the eyes that see beyond without separation. Ears that hear vibrations of the sound that supports your growth, your transition, that transform the energy. Now you can see neutral spine. So where does the dirt come from into the surface of purity? The dirt comes from the habit. Dirt comes from the loop. Dirt comes from your personality. Empower the space. So everything that comes as this and that is not is in favor of supporting of your freedom, supports your liberation, supports your consciousness, neutral spine. Now very gently knees wide apart, take a deep breath in, push the hips into the front, push the bum into the back, releasing the tension. So now the space of beingness, space of the heart, is yearning nothing other than into beingness. Being alive in the space of awakeness. And then you appreciate that same life without separation into the space of others. Everything. Whatever now heavy and low, whatever is right and wrong, is the identity and the personality and the mind. Now when the space comes into the space of lightness, it dissolves this level of stronger influences that the, the world of the body suffers, the world of the mind suffers. Then a collectively consciousness, if we keep on repeating these negativity, we are also bringing down other people's energy down too into the place of Opposite to beingness. As I say, beingness does not suffer. Ego suffers. In the name of right, in the name of separation, in the name of gender, name of a country, name of a world, name of hell, it always suffers. Arms raising down, crawling and bringing the chest onto the floor, breathing in into an up face. Breathing on onto a down face. Flat. Lower plank. Up face. down face. Now very gently feet apart, slightly met with apart. Walk those palms into the back, 
shoulders relax and chest open. Holding on to the opposite elbows. Move the head side to side, releasing the tension. And very gently bend the knees and sit in deeper palms onto the pranam position. Now releasing the tension that you're holding on the space of as constipation. When the mind suffers, mind has difficulties, also the bowels, also the digestion. So it is very important to the posture we take care and release this tension. Now take a couple of more breath, shoulders relax and just open, elevate the space of the heart. Now very gently bump onto the floor. And pull the bum out. Bend the knees and stretch the legs into the front, but bend the knees, so not too far. Now take a deep breath in. Arms raise onto the crown. Roll from the tailbone very gently, pushing the belly onto the upper thigh, pushing the lower rib cage onto the upper thigh. Upper rib cage and holding onto the space of the feet. Now there is no tension on the head. Move the head onto the side to side if there is experiencing any tension. Experiencing any stronger emotion. It might be as a tightness, but if you really explore that I have love you to explore these parts, it might be a fear. Now take a deep breath in, very gently coming back. Shoulders relax and just open. Now sole of the feet together. Allow the knees to drop slightly. Hip relax. Bring the body into the space of the beingness. Not that it has a shape, but that it doesn't have any control. Now under the ankles, locking onto the toes. Walk the bum back. Take a deep breath in. Extend from the space of the spine. Rolling forward. Even you can leave a block on that space so that you're not forcing the head down by hunching the back. Try to push that back in the space of the gravity of the flow rather than hunching and try to pull the head down. Let's try to gravitate the whole spine so we can very gently work on the emotions. Evidence is in the body. Evidence is in the breath. Evidence is in the difficulty. The stronger the body resists, you could see this, stronger the mind is. The stronger in the mind, then you want to know the logic about everything, but you don't want to feel things. Now take a deep breath in. This is very good when we try to find evidence through a lot of information. Coming back. Shoulders relax and chest open. Now bringing the palms onto the floor in the back, feet met with the path and very gently lifting up into a tabletop. Take a deep breath in. Shoulders relax. Gently work on the way you want to work around the postures. Otherwise, just take rest and do alternative postures which allow you to gently enjoy the practice within the space of support and liberated by 
the consciousness. Now take a deep breath in and coming down. Very gently. Now, very gently fold the knee inward towards the left and dropping the left arm to the left side. Now very gently find a space where you have to establish the feet to get this posture. Now to the other side. Very gently. Keep the chest open. Don't roll your shoulders into the front. Shoulders roll back. Listen. Breathing in, coming back into the center without dropping onto the other side. Breathing in. Back to the center. Now very gently drop the elbows onto the floor, into the back. Peel the head back, open up the chest, stretch the legs into the front. So we are coming into the space of the Matsyasana, but not the real one, the open one, to keep the chest elevated, having a stretch onto the throat, and to the jaw, and to the back of the head. Shoulders relax. Now very gently take a deep breath in, chin to the chest, breathe out, and relax the body onto the floor. Totally relaxing the body and bringing the head down to the floor. Now take a deep breath in and bringing both knees to the chest to completely breathe out. Now forehead onto the knees, stronger on the pelvic floor, stronger on the releasing the tension on the back. Now very gently locking onto the toes, keep the head relaxed onto the floor. And stretch the legs up to the ceiling. Keep the knees slightly bent in this one, and then drop the feet wide apart. Now start breathing. Now. You don't have to lock onto the toes. If your knees wide apart, that's also enough. Now take a deep breath in. Bend the knees. Completely breathe out. Now holding onto the left knee and stretching the right leg away from you. Onto the floor. Right leg onto the floor. Now holding onto the back of the ankle of the left. And stretching up to the ceiling. Now flex the foot, releasing the tension. In the arch of the foot, the bridge, there is tension. So start gently breathing into that space, learning more, and bringing into the space of the beingness. Now very gently, Knee to the chest, drop the knee to the right side, holding the weight of the right palm, left arm stretch onto the shoulder height, and overlooking onto the left side. Releasing that tension furthermore. Now breathing in back into the center. Forehead onto the knees. Completely breathe out. And let go. Now we are going to do the other side. So same way. Knee to the chest. Right. Forehead onto the knee. Lock onto the back of the ankle. Releasing the tension. Important is the understanding of the the experience and try to give all feelings, not words, just experiencing where the flow, where the difficulty, where it is tough and keep breathing. Flex the foot. Knee to the chest, forehead onto the knee. And very gently dropping onto the left side. Right arm, shoulder high, overlooking onto the right. 
releasing the tension. Breathing in back into the center. Now very gently bringing both knees to the chest. Rotating both knees. Very gently releasing the tension, depending upon where you feel, lower back, middle back, upper back, onto the other side. And very gently releasing the tension of the struggle. Observe what you are doing. Observe what you are doing. Ego is dominated by the mind. Mind is dominated by the ego. And the mind collects information. Now very gently feet closer to the buttocks. Hug the tailbone on the palms, facing down next to the hips. Take a deep breath in and breath out, peeling off the spine and coming into a space of the bridge. So stronger you are internally, stronger the body has the effect. Not necessary as positive, but as pain. Difficulty of the mobility, tightness. Now take a deep breath in, breath out, very gently coming down one vertebra at a time. One vertebra at a time. One vertebra at a time. And take a deep breath in, breath out, tuck the tailbone under, feeling of the spine one vertebra at a time on the out breath. Don't squeeze the squeeze the glutes, not the hamstring. The knees not wide apart. Knees are next to the hip level. Take a deep breath in, breath out, coming down one vertebra at a time. Knees to the chest, forehead onto the knee. Completely breathe out. Now take a deep breath in, rock the spine and coming into a space of seating. A few times rocking, rocking, rocking. And very gently coming. When you're ready into the space of seating, shoulders relax and chest open. Now, very gently coming into the space of that realization. Stretch the neck to the right and to the left. Now, very gently, we have come in from the space of the domination into the space of liberation, grounding ourselves into the space of the beingness. Now, grounding ourselves, the beingness does not belong to a self, but self can be in the space of the beingness. So now you see the space in a space of a realization. At this very moment, you don't have plans or you don't have an effect to control the situation or get rid of the situation. And you have transitioning your practice into See everything in the space of the realization. Mm -hmm. 
now let the feeling comes and emotions to go. Breath comes and go. Sound comes and go. Now this space is free from ideas, free from futures, free from past. So when you come into this space, it's it's a space of healing. It is healing, even healing from the lineage of suffering. Now embrace this moment. Now the difficulty is also therefore here. Now the pain and the difficulty is ultimately into the space of realization. Now this power of solitude has become the space of your sacredness. The work of sacredness has come into. I'm very gently taking a deep breath in. Arms raised onto the crown. When it's in the space of the aura. Palms onto the Namaskar position. And releasing that lineage of suffering because you have come into the space of the beingness. Now taking a deep breath in. So let's chant the OM as a vibration of breaking from that limitation, breaking from the chains, breaking from the lineage of suffering, breaking of the lineage of depression, anxiety, and fear. I'll take a deep breath in and a gentle OM on the out breath. Arms very gently raised back onto the ground, cleansing in the space and the aura. Space as a space of home, space of unity. Gently protecting the space of the crown, 
through your own ego and through your own ignorance, it can be covered and locked and blocked. Third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, and the navel. And very gently coming into the mood of the rest. And grounding yourself into the space of the being. All the chakras will feel a difference of the vibration that you are awakened into the space of all these energy channels and releasing the tension of the struggle. Taking a deep breath in, arms raised onto the crown again, cleansing the space and the old. Aura releasing the struggle and keeping the space onto the space of growth. Arms under the namaskar position. Namaste. Can you put me there, all on the speaker just to ask you? 